Qudsday was declared by Ayatollah Khomeini in support to the oppressed Palestine in 1981. Qudsday processions have been observed all over the world since then. Sheikh Ibrahim al Zekseki led the first procession and symposium in Zaria year after year. The number of participants across the country have been multiplying. Today, this procession is observed by millions in over 25 cities across Nigeria. However, Nigeria being a pro-Israeli country is against any pro-Palestinian movement. Therefore, the Quds Day have been facing threats. In 2003, the procession was attacked by armed forces in Kano, where eight people were gunned down. Over the years, participants of the Quds Day processions have been threatened and harassed by the authorities on a regular basis. In 2009, the Qudse procession in Zaria was attacked by the authorities and two persons were killed. Qudse processions are being conducted all over the world peacefully, and in no part of the world are any authorities audacious enough to attack peaceful protesters with no consideration for the consequences of their actions, except here in Nigeria, where military personnel in uniform appeared in broad daylight and attacked the peaceful Quds Day procession in Zaria, conducted by the Islamic movement in Nigeria under the leadership of Sheikh Ibrahim al Zekseki on the 25th of July 2014. Not only did the assailants shot at hundreds of protesters, but also captured tortured and murdered several people, killing 34 and leaving nearly 200 injured. Amongst the 34 martyred were three sons of the leader, Sheikh Ibrahim al Zekseki, Ahmad, Ahmed, and Mahmoud, and another son of his, Ali, who was severely injured. Ahmad, Hamid, and Ali were captured alive and tortured to death except for Ali, a 15-year-old who survived a traumatic incident of having to watch his brothers killed and their brother Mahmoud was gunned down on the scene of the attack. The peaceful reaction of Sheikh Zegzeki after the massacre was what moved millions around the world and brought about the solidarity of people from all backgrounds towards the leader, the Islamic movement, and the Palestinian cause in general. Most of the martyred were in their year, and especially the biological sons of the leader, who were well-known figures of Islamic activism. Shaheed Ahmad was the founder of Abul Fadl Abbas Foundation, a foundation which inspired the reform of youth across the country under the leadership of Sheikh Ibrahim al Zekseki. July 2014, conferences in support of Al Quds Day and in remembrance of the massacre and demand for justice have been conducted in different parts of Nigeria 